you are all doing good. Before I start teaching you, so would you like to do me one favor? Okay, stay silent for a moment. Listen carefully. What do you hear around you? Start now. Okay, maybe some of you heard the noise and some of you heard the wind, right? Now, the topic which I'm gonna teach you, it is about the air. Okay? Do you know what is air? Air is a mixture of different gases which are present in our atmosphere that surround the earth and these gases are the oxygen, the carbon dioxide, the nitrogen and the other gases. Also, air is an invisible which we cannot see with our eyes, neither we cannot touch it, okay? Let me ask you this question. Can you see air? Can you touch it? The answer is no, right? We cannot see the air, neither we cannot touch it, but we can only feel it, right? So now, we need to know the place of the air. Let me ask you one more question. Does the air has the exact location or the place? Tell me. The answer is no, right? The air does not have the exact place or the location because the air is present everywhere around us, which means the air is present inside our classroom or outside our classroom. Air is present anywhere or at any places. It can be present under the sea too. Have you ever wondered how the fish survive under the sea? As you can see in this picture, there is a bubble and inside the bubbles there is air. When the fish breathe out the air, the bubbles also came out of their glands. This proves that the air is present everywhere. So now, let's come to the importance of air. Why air is important? Air is very essential for all the living things. For human beings, animals, and all the living things, they breathe in the air which contains oxygen. And they breathe out the air which contains carbon dioxide. Okay. Whereas the green plants and trees while making their food, they use carbon dioxide and release the fresh air oxygen to the our surrounding. Also, air is useful to us in many ways. It helps us in getting our wet clothes dry. It can fill into things like balloons, mattresses, football and cylinder. Bicycles and cars tires are kept hard by air pressures and make us travel from one place to another places. Okay? Now, the conclusion. As we now understood that air is very important for life and also for many useful ways, my question to you is that what do we need to do to protect the air from this appearance? The answer is that we need not to cut the trees nor to vanish the land because if we cut the trees without planting another trees, it will lead us to loss fresh air but we will have to breathe the air which contains more carbon dioxide and this will lead us to get such sicknesses in our body okay so we have to be aware for ourselves because it is our responsibility to protect the air and all the natural gifts which the nature gives us thank you